Welcome to All Horse Racing All The Time. I'm your host, Al. In this video, we're gonna be talking about something oftentimes overlooked by horse players, the appearance of a racehorse before the race, reading the body language of a racehorse. Now, overlooking this, you can get crushed at the windows. Maybe you, you'll miss something. The horse doesn't have it today. On the flip side, if you get good at this stuff, reading the body language of a racehorse can lead to some really, really big scores. So I'm gonna talk about this today. On some of my live shows, I've talked about this and showed the power of reading the body language of a racehorse before the race. And this takes place either in the paddocks, but especially when they step out onto the racetrack in the post parade. So you wanna pay attention to the, uh, the post parade before the race, if you can, and be able to do that. You wanna do your handicapping in advance, of course, right? Now this is best utilized in a single race. Obviously you can't read the body language of a racehorse in the sec for the second leg of a daily double pick three. So the power of this is you open up the opportunity to hit some really big winners or exactas or tries or superfectas, what have you, because you'll be able to eliminate some horses by reading its body language and you see it's not ready to run today. Now, how exactly do you, do you do that? Now I'm gonna go right to a book. I don't wanna leave anything out. And uh, it's the Picking Winners book by Andy Byers. So I'm gonna go step by step and give you some things to look for in that post parade to um, either find some golden gems out there you know, by how the horse is behaving before the race, or you'll see maybe some favorites that look like crap in the post parade. And you're like, wow, this one doesn't want to run at all. And this really does work. I actually know some handicappers, some players, winning players who go specifically by the body language of a horse. You could throw those speed figures out the window. At least they do. I'm, I'm hesitant to go that far, but these guys do, and they go, they set up and they play it race by race. They don't bother with the you know, multi race plays, take it a race at a time, and crush it big by going with the body language of a racehorse. So let's get started with that. And we're going to go step by step, some things to look for. And I think you're going to have fun with this because it'll open up a whole new avenue of uh, a whole new arsenal of tools for your handicapping. Um, arsenal when you go forward. So we're going to start, we're going to go step by step, take a pop of ice water. Excellent. Okay, we're going to go step by step here. And we're going to talk, I'll give you a few things to look for. And we'll start with the overall appearance of a racehorse. Now I'm not leaving anything out. I'm not making this stuff up. So I want to give it to you straight. Okay, this way, you'll get to get the full gist of it. You know, I don't want to leave anything out for you. I want to make, that's the goal of this show, to help you know, players improve their game. Also, uh, make the game more fun, more profitable. And I, I do a lot of live shows. Uh, most of my shows are live, but I'm adding more uh, instructional videos uh, going forward, pre-recorded shows as well, this being one of them. So you want to check in my video library, you know, you click on videos and you'll see the horses, my, my instructional videos. And if you click on live, you'll see the live shows and there uh, you'll get a gist of the handicapping that goes on here. So let's get started. The overall appearance of racehorse. You look for a quiet horse, quiet, but with a controlled energy. Okay. You don't want to see a horse acting up quiet, but in control, controlled energy. If he has a stable pony with him, as most horses do, he looks like he wants to outrun the uh, the pony. He might try to thrust his head in front of the pony or over the pony's neck. So you see him pulling that stunt, you know, over the, you know, putting his head over the uh, pony's neck, that's a good sign. You can tell this power there. Nice. But when a horse is fractitious, Chomp, chomping at the bit, tossing his head from side to side, stamping his feet, he's too nervous. And he's dissipating his energy before the race. 
All right. So if you see a horse acting up in the post parade or in the paddock, bad sign, especially, you know, fighting, uh, you know, maybe even uh, neighing, uh, not a good sign. You want that controlled energy, uh, walking with the pony, put his head over the, the pony's neck or trying to get in front of the pony. And uh, you, you see this one's ready to go. That's a good sign. We, I've, you see, you'd be surprised how often you can see that when they're on the track. Okay, and now we're going to talk about wetness. How wet is the horse? Wetness on a cold day, it's very negative. When you see a horse wet, lathered up around the neck, loins, and behind his tail, he definitely won't run his best race. This isn't so important on a hot day when you could expect anybody to sweat. Yeah, okay, so it's a cool day and the horses are already sweated up. Red flag. Fluidity, uh, fluidity of motion. How fluid is the horse's motion? This is another thing to look for. Now, Andy says, when I ran and got tired, my legs would get stiff. Later, I came to realize the explanation that oxygen is not feeding into the muscles properly. Okay, so legs start to stiffen up. I'm sure you've seen that too when you're out running or whatever or even out for a re really, really long walk, and then the legs start to feel stiff, it's like, hey, they're running out of oxygen. Okay, we go forward. When a horse is stiff-legged in a warm-up, if he's not striding out properly, if his movements are choppy, there's something wrong. You want the legs, you want the horse to look nice and loose out there. If he's, you know, choppy uh, in the warm-ups, and uh, stiff-legged, if he's not striding properly, there's something wrong. And I'll tell you what, I've seen this. You could, you'll you spot it too. You'll be surprised now what you see if you haven't been following through on the body language. When you, If you look for some of these things, you'll be surprised how easily they stand out. Okay, so you want the horse to be nice and loose, not choppy. When What you look for is fluidness of movement. You look for a horse's ankles and knees to curl, to bend, if you will, the way a weightlifter's arms and legs curl when he lifts a weight. So you you want to see the ankles like nice and loose and curling. If you know the ankles are stiff, whatever, red flag. Something else to look for: the horse's feet. Yeah, its feet. You want a horse who puts his feet down squarely grabs the ground and takes a full stride. When they pick their feet up real fast with a short jerky motion, it's a sign something in the foot is stinging them. Okay, so if you see a choppy with the foot, you know, taking short steps instead of like stepping forward, flat down, grabbing the ground and, and striding, Okay, so you want that, you know, you take a, grab the ground, take a full stride. When they pick their feet up fast with a short jerky motion, it's a sign something in the foot is stinging them or wrong. Okay, so you can imagine when they get out there running, how much that is going to affect them. So that's another reason you don't want to put your bets in too early in advance, if at all possible, because you might see something right up into the last minute uh, the post parade might be telling the whole story. So again, make sure you do your handicapping in advance. You know what you're looking for. This way you have time to pay attention to things like the board and the post parade so you can see the body language of the horse. And we move on. Yeah, there's more. The horse's ears. You might be saying, Al, asking Al, what do you mean? The horse's ears? Are you kidding me? No, listen up. The ears, one of the worst signs. Yeah, <laughs> this is a big deal, folks. One of the worst signs a horse can show is when his he has his ears pinned back as he's going to the post, okay? And you'll see this too sometimes. The horse's ears are actually pinned back. <laughs> it's nuts, but true. You, you see his ears pinned back. This is like one of the ultimate worst signs. Forget about him. Yeah, Andy says, actually forget about him. It's over already. When he gets to a point in a race where he puts a little pressure on himself, he'll stop. 
When a horse is feeling good, he'll usually have his ears pricked, like he's trying to hear something. And when a horse has been drugged, get this, you can usually tell it by the rigidity of his ears. He looks like a bird dog who's pointing when he, he's got a bird spotted. The ears won't flop and they won't wiggle. So maybe that's a good sign, I guess. Maybe the horse is juiced, right? A Rick Dutro special or, you know, one of these juices out there. But anyway, you don't want the ears pinned back. Okay. You want the ears up. Now we move to the horse's tail. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of here, but it's, these are easy to spot. And you may want to go back and watch this video again or take some notes, but you'll start to see this stuff. It'll click. Now you share this video with your racing friends too. They'll be amazed and they'll thank you. You'll be a hero to them for helping you improve your game. And as we've seen this before. This stuff works. You can pick bombs this way. You can eliminate, eliminate weak favorites. Uh, you'll hit more exactas, more trifectas by seeing horses that can be thrown out and especially ones that can be spotted that are long, that they're showing the good signs. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the tail. A horse who swishes his tail going to the post with a straight up and down swish is telling you that he's feeling good. Especially a straight up and down swish. So pay attention to the tail, not a droopy tail. You wanna see it swishing its tail to the post. He's telling you that he's feeling good, especially if it's up, up and down. All right, that's the tail. Now, what about the head? Yeah. Here's another one, the head. You want a horse to go to the post with his head straight. When he turns his head to the side and down and it stays that way, something's wrong. Uh, and we see that, you know, we've, I've pulled it, you know, I've, I've mentioned this on the shows. Uh, when I do the live shows, I'm, now I'm going to the post parade at around 10 minutes to post, breaking down the, each race as they go along. But we go to, we talk about this on the show. So be on the lookout for live shows and um, you know subscribe to the channel. This way you get notified when they're gonna be doing live shows. I'm doing a live show today for Saratoga, for example. When he turns his head uh, to the side and down, it stays that way, something's wrong, he's hurting. This is infallible, this sign. So you want the horse with his head up. And I saw this and, at the time, I was relatively new to handicapping. I started in 2007, and I've been a winning player since 2011 going forward, ahead in the money, all right? And that's one of the reasons I started this channel. I used to do a, uh, I used to be a writer for Bleacher Report Sports uh, correspondent, and then I had a podcast, and now I'm doing this show, bringing the handicapping and angles to you, and... Uh, but we're talking about the head. If you had, see the head down, it's not straight up, walking head up high, proud. If you see the horse's head is down or down into the side, a very bad sign. And the first time I spotted this and I thought something was wrong was the post parade, uh, actually in the paddock area, uh, the day Big Brown was going for the Triple Crown. Now that was in 2008. And he was walking around with his head almost pointing straight down at the ground. I mean, he still looked imposing. And he was walking okay, but I was like, what's this? Why, why is his head down? Is he, is he trying to get focused? Does he usually do this? Uh, because I'm, I hadn't seen Big Brown race much uh, except or in post parades, but I was looking at him in the paddock and I, the head down and he didn't even finish the race. Yeah, so watch for that head, the head up. You don't want the head down and to the side or down, period. You want the head up. Now, bandages, okay? What about if a horse is wearing bandages? Pay attention to that. Bandages, I don't put too much emphasis on bandages, Andy says, but if a horse has bandages on his first leg for the first time, it's probably negative. There's probably something wrong with his tendons. So okay, keep an eye on the bandages. Some horses, they wear bandages regularly, but if it's first time bandages, it might be a problem. I don't think the bandages are something you can go nuts with, but pay attention if it's first time. At least that's what Andy says. Seeing the gate. 
seeing the gate. Okay, when a horse sees the, gets to the starting gate a couple minutes before post time, you can see if he's willing. If he kind of challenges the gate, he charges it, he can't, can't wait to get in the gate, that's a real good sign, especially with older horses who have already shown you they're feeling good. This is one of the best indications I've ever seen that a horse is going to run well. So keep an eye on the horse. The horse can't wait to get in the gate. It goes in nice and easy. Um, that's a great sign. If he can't wait to get in, that's a tremendous sign. And if they're fighting, they don't want to get in at all, that's a horrible sign. So, uh, and you see that, right? Some of the ones that you can't get them to load, the horse is fighting with the loaders that wants no part of the starting gate. So keep an eye for the ones that go in easy and especially the ones that can't wait to get in. So the jiggle. Now, what does Andy mean by the jiggle? This is something that has to be seen. It's a very special look hmm, that you see maybe once or twice a year when a horse is going to, to the post. All right. You get the feeling that if you got next to the horse, you'd almost hear him screaming to run. The horse will give constant short starts. He's not fractitious, but it's almost as if he's saying, please turn me loose. Oh, the jiggle, this sounds like, yeah, you know, I'm trying to think of when I've really spotted that, but you know, the other ones are all there. And Andy, I'll, let's go with this. Uh, Andy, you know, in closing here, I'm just going to say a handicapper may occasionally cash bets on the basis of appearance alone, but he should learn to relate this factor to the horse's form. It is not a good policy to bet on a slow chronic loser just because he looks here, uh, just because he looks healthy. If the horse stinks, but he looks fine on the track, and you see he's never in the money. Hey, maybe maybe he's not. He doesn't really want to run. So I hope that helps. The body language of a racehorse it may, it may add a whole new element to your handicapping arsenal. Uh, make the game more enjoyable. Uh, you'll be you win more money. So be sure to share this with your racing friends. If you enjoy the show, uh, click the subscribe to get notification of upcoming shows, especially the live ones. I think you'll really enjoy those. So have a great day and win some money at the track. Keep an eye on that horse. Don't forego that those uh, those post parades. And thanks for watching. If you're playing or whenever you play, best of luck and win big.